everyone, Joel Hansen here, and we are back for an official episode of the Joel Hansen Show. It's been a long time, you know, where we eat great food at great restaurants and often eat way too much. Um, so here I am at the Tuscan Wolf Pizzeria in Whitby, Ontario. Um, so the gentleman, I kind of had to stop him. He just tried to give me a menu, and I actually said, no, I don't want the menu, because they have over 100 pizzas, and I don't know where I would start. But what I will say, is, sir, I want the authentic Italian experience. Okay, so we can do that. Like, whatever you think Italy constitutes into a menu, that is what I need. Okay, we will make you be like to be in Italy. Okay, I'm, I'm very excited for this. Okay, sir, I keep for you here a nice Italian starter, the salad with the home uh, dressing, and a nice focaccia bread. Enjoy. Uh, let, let me, let me, let me, re sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. Um, I think we're gonna need a little bit more, like uh, like a lot more. Like uh, I think I think we need pizzas. I need some calzones. I know you have dessert. We I need I need the full experience, my friend. Oh, okay. Well, we will make you happy, sir. Okay, let's make this happen. Five minutes later. All right, that is definitely more what I was talking about. Thank you so much. All right, so. What do we have here in front of me? Okay, sir, so I'm happy to make you happy with the quality of your food. The quality, I hope, will be the same. So we have some appetizer. We have a, a Caesar uh, dressing uh, homemade on a Caesar salad. I love so salads. People love uh, our dressing. We have a couple of uh, Italian appetizer. This is a, a kind of mix between appetizer and dessert. It's a pecorino cheese, so sheep cheese, with walnut honey and uh, some balsamic glaze on. Um, this is a curd beef uh, brisala that marinated with uh, lemon oil of oil and uh, balsamic glaze we serve with a bed of arugula and uh, shaped parmesan cheese. Delicious. Going with some pizza, we have more than 100 kind, like I told you, we make some samples. This is something I create, it's half pizza and half calzone. So you can have in the same plate uh, half uh, pizza with every topping and in this case you decide for the spicy one and the half calzone. Uh, the pizza in front over there is called uh, is a special pizza made with the burrata. Burrata is a very fresh and cream cheese, and is basically very simple tomato sauce and add the, just the cheese on top and few ingredients: uh, extra virgin olive oil, uh, basil, cherry tomatoes, and sauce. Yeah. We are going to some more articular pizzas. Here we have uh, the Desiderio. Desiderio is uh, for our restaurant uh, a winning award pizza. We won a couple of competition with this pizza. It's a truffle paste mixed with a touch of cream and uh, add the homemade sausage and saute mushroom with the mascarpone cream cheese that melt and exalted the flavor and truffle oil on top. That smells good. I love truffles, so wow. All We're right. going to the next one is uh, an another white based pizza, so no tomato sauce. It's uh, called the green light and it's uh, basic, uh, basically cream with the basil pesto spread with mozzarella cheese and add on top uh, homemade uh, uh, grilled chicken uh, with sun-dried tomatoes, walnut and parm. Nice. Then we go in a traditional Italian calzone with basically inside uh, mozzarella cheese sauce and ricotta. And then another couple of uh, different pizzas. This is our meat lover pizza. It's called the Porky Pig. It's a homemade Italian uh, cold cut and uh, homemade sausage and a lot of uh, toppings. And uh, this is another traditional uh, uh, popular pizza in Italy. It's called Capricciosa. It's a very, very popular pizza Pizza in Italy is a good combination between meat and vegetables. And that's all. Hope you enjoy, you'll be happy with your meal. I am sure I will. Well, thank you so much. Bon appetito. Really look forward to this. And uh, let's get, get eating. I, I don't you know, this is amazing. I don't know where to start, but let's get eating. Everything looks delicious. Uh, I'm gonna get started with probably this Caesar salad. If you can't tell, there's a lot of food here. But yeah, the Caesar salad looks really good. The homemade dressing. People beg to buy this stuff, but you can only get it in-house. Uh, oh. mm. That is creamy, that is rich. Mm. There's a flavor I can't, hold on. It's almost like a, mm. oh my God. Mm. It's almost like got a little bit of a mustard in there, like a Big Mac sauce and with the Caesar. Mm. It's a perfect level of like creaminess, acidity. I don't know what this is, but 
That is so delicious. Ten out of ten. This is definitely the good place to start. Ten out of ten Caesar salad. Absolutely love it. Mm, even those croutons are fantastic. The dressing, the croutons. Love it. Let's try this one here. So arugula with a cured beef. Got some balsamic glaze, some olive oil. Some cheese. It's a very lean cured beef. Flavors are very mild, providing just the right amount of uh, salt. Really nice to have that oil accent. That real authentic, rich Italian olive oil really provides like a nice floral accent. There's Parmesan cheese on it, but it's not actually the strongest flavor I'm picking up because it's just so well balanced. Mm. I've definitely never had anything like that. But this is exceptional. All right, so now let's move on some pizzas. Here we got the green light. This is the Capriccioso. I believe I'm pronouncing that correct. So authentic Italian pizza, and what they do here is they don't cut your pizzas for you. You cut them yourself, and then that way you can eat with a fork and knife. You can use your hands afterwards, but you cut it. That's why you get a fork and a real knife. I'm gonna start with the Capriccioso. Oh yeah, it just cuts really nice. You can tell it's very soft. The crust is very thin. Let's see. I'll try to show you this. The crust is thin, but it's juicy. We got that sauce. We have olive oil. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Damn. Okay, I have never had pizza like this before. So, they make all the dough here, all the flour is imported from Italy. And it has a lot higher protein content, different flavors. And that is definitely the best pizza I've ever had in my life. The olives, the artichoke, The sauce, it's so light, yet flavorful. I'm serious. If you have not had pizza like this, or if you've not had pizza here, you have not had pizza. Canadians, this is the real thing. Oh man. I'm used to pizza seeming very heavy, but this is so light. That's it. It just, it's so light, it's so crisp. It just tastes so fresh. This is, I just, I'm, I'm speechless. To be honest with you, there's actually a period in my life where I would say I wasn't that big a pizza fan. But I think the problem just was I didn't have good pizza. Now that I've had good pizza, it's exceptional. Just 
It's just, it's nothing like it. All right. And no, this is like a, we call it a menu challenge or this is a menu thing. I could not eat the whole menu. There's over a hundred pizzas on that menu, which is ridiculous in all the best ways. So many options, vegan options, gluten-free options, authentic Italian options, more, excuse me, North Americanized options. All right, so this one is a white pizza, green light. So we got pesto, we got cream on here, we got chicken, we have walnuts, sun-dried tomatoes. I've never had walnuts on a pizza. Mmm, whoa. Okay. So it's very floral, my pesto. The cheese on it is providing a little bit of a almost like a, a bitterness, but like with the earthiness of the walnuts. There is so much going on in my mouth, and it is all very complimentary. I feel like this is almost like encapsulating the hominess of a home cooked meal. Yeah, such a unique and like earthy pizza. Like I said, I'm almost getting reminiscence of like a Thanksgiving dinner. It just makes me feel like homey. And I definitely give this one the green light. I tell you, walnuts on a pizza is so unique. Never did I imagine having walnuts on a pizza. But it's actually really, really good. It just adds like this nuttiness, this earthiness. This pizza here. They just won best pizza in the Durham region, region, which is like whippy and stuff. And they didn't even know they were like involved in the contest. So they won solely on word of mouth. And honestly, I can see why. Phenomenal. And this is definitely. As it was described to me, which was delicious, and the most authentic, most authentic Italian pizza in and around Toronto area. Here's some Italian sparkling water. It is very, very good. That chicken has a really nice spice on it too, actually. Maybe that's what's helping provide some of that kind of earthy, homegrown nature. All right, so now we have the uh, porky pig right here. I will try, this is the more meaty one, maybe a little bit more North American than some of the other ones we had, in the sense that it is lots of meat. Even though there's like three different types of pork on here though. And again, it's a little bit more North Americanized. I can still taste the taste of like the Italian kind of cured meat. So it's still very much is an Italian style pizza. And I'm definitely getting that vibe from it.
Very rich, very juicy, very succulent. Moist, for those of you who love that word. My preferred way to eat this is the fold. It's quick, it's versatile. I get all those delicious flavors in my mouth. People always get so weird out whenever I say that. But it's true. This delicious stuff in my mouth this great. Anybody who would like is welcome to my crust. I will share. It's just not for me. All right. Now we're getting into some very interesting territory with this pizza burrata, with a big glob of this burrata cheese on it. So this one we definitely have to fork and knife because we have what is a big cheese mound. Like literally, before going to the oven, it was a big block of cheese. So if you like cheese, you get a lot of cheese here. So let's see what this is like. But olive oil, basil, tomatoes, sauce, all right, here we got a piece of the pizza. Definitely some olive oil on there with that burrata cheese. Okay. So it's a very soft, like, I'm gonna try it just by itself. It's a very soft cheese. It almost reminds me of like a, the taste of a ricotta in a way. That pizza, I'm definitely getting that basil, that tomatoes, it's the olive oil. It's making it just very, like a very nice, light, get that oil kind of a little savory. I have proof. I've never had anything close to this. I've never had a pizza with a big ball of cheese in it. And honestly, I'm impressed. It's surprisingly good. I didn't really know what to expect, but I'm definitely pleasantly surprised. And all the oils and everything they're using, there's just such a really nice flavor. And that real Italian olive oil almost adds like a texture. And that's definitely what this is doing. Very impressive. So uh, my other my other pizzas, I still got two more pizzas. They're just right here. I just wanted to focus on this calzone. So this is what they are describing and is described as a traditional Italian calzone, like Tuscany, etc. So I've never had a calzone like this before. So, but this, and I wanted the traditional way. So what is in this calzone is literally just dough and sauce. Look at that, it was puffed up, now it's deflating. Mozzarella, like lots of cheese, and ricotta cheese. And this is the ultimate traditional calzone, or maybe they kind of call it calzone. And that is it. I don't know if you guys see, like, I'm, th the thing is this cheese will move. Look at that, see how that'll move? It's literally dough with some sauce with a mountain, not even a mountain, a sea of cheese in it. So again, you cheese lovers. So the thing is, I'm gonna see how hot this cheese is. I don't wanna burn myself, but. Okay, it's just like, What's actually really nice about this is I'm really just, I'm tasting basically like the dough. Um, like I can tell the, I can tell the flavors of the dough.
You really taste the flavors of that sauce. Lots and lots of cheese. There's a sea of cheese. But, Yeah. And this is like a morsel. I think this is totally full of cheese, guys. That is crazy. I've never had so much cheese inside anything in my life. And look at this, it just keeps stringing. And there's way more. This is impressive. Yeah, this is the cheesiest thing I've ever had in my life, but I really enjoy the flavors. Even if you feel like I do about cheese, you can appreciate the authenticity and the beauty of the simple simplicity of this item. And there's a lot of cheese. All right, now we're back to the pizzas. Well, kind of. This is a calzone, and it's a half calzone, half pizza. So very interesting and really cool idea. The half of the pizza I went with was the Diablo pizza, so I'm not even sure I'll be able to eat it. The Diablo pizza has like ghost peppers and Carolina Reaper sauce in it. So I'm gonna try it. I did ask him to not kill me with it, but he says some chili heads come in here, and they literally try to get like even spice excuse me, spicy earth. But already then there's um, kind of chili flakes on there. Got some jalapenos as well. I can even smell the uh, like the, the, ch the chili off this pizza, like something spicy. I don't know if the jalapenos are. Okay, first off the flavor. There's a meat on here, which is fantastic. Definitely getting some of those jalapenos. Now I'm getting some of that sauce. Woo! Okay, woo. There's some good heat to that one. Very good heat. And the cool thing about this, it's almost like you're getting the pizza, plus like an extra load of cheese. Again, we have a little mini calzone here with all this cheese inside. Damn, there is some spice to that. Mm. I do like that ricotta. Whew. That's like a nice uh, little bit of a saving grace after that spice. But of course you can get the pizza with the calzone, the half and half, whatever, whatever flavor you want. I just decided to try this crazy Diablo. It has some heat though. So if you're looking for a spicy pizza, we'll hook you up here. What I'm really amazed by is that it's very much, I still get those awesome flavors. And the spice, and the spice, but just like those flavors of that dough, that sauce. All right, we're on to my last pizza before we try this half appetizer, half dessert, and then get on to dessert. Yes, they have dessert, a real tiramisu, and something else which is slipping my mind. Either way, I'm excited. So here is the Desiderio, which means desire. This is the award-winning pizza. This is the one which not only has truffle paste on it, yes, truffle paste, and truffle oil. If you like truffles, you're in luck. We have sausage, we have mushrooms, we have just so many delicious and 
truffle oil. It's so aromatic. It just smells like truffles. I saved this one till the end because I knew this was going to be amazing. This one, uh, the like second place award for a pizza in all of Canada 2019. Same award in Las Vegas, but that was the world, the world competition. So this is literally one of the best pizzas in the world right here in front of me. And this is about to be in my mouth. Again, for some reason, people always laugh whenever I say that. Okay, guys, I like truffles. I like pizza. This is the Desiderio. This is going to be excellent. Here we go. Oh my, oh, woo, oh my God. Oh my God. Man. I, I can't, one second. Oh, there's mascarpone cheese on it too. Mm. Okay, so much creaminess. So much creaminess. And you have that taste of that delicious truffle. Man, that is the craziest pizza I've ever had in my life. My words are not going to properly describe this, but beautiful about a truffle. It's so creamy, it's so cheesy. I'm speechless. I can understand why it got such an accolade worldwide. Probably because they've never had anything like this before. I definitely have. Creamy, rich. Get the umami from that mushroom. That truffle almost providing a, I almost want to say sharp, like a very sharp kind of flavor. Just like if you're familiar with that truffle flavor. However you describe that truffle flavor. Rich, creamy, sharp, and perfect. There's a good one. This was a good one to end with. So the desire has me having a desire for even more. This is phenomenal. I can see why that one. I really can. All right, pizzas, the best I've ever had. Tuscan wool, phenomenal. Delicious pizzas, cooked perfectly. We have over 100 on the menu. The flavors are just exquisite. 10 out of 10. I'd really recommend. Now let's get into some more sweet stuff. I like sweet things. Oh, man, this is so, mm, oh, so savory. So rich. Man, that truffle. Mm, I love that taste of truffles, but whew, let's get a dessert. Get some sweet stuff in our palate. And yeah, amazing. This is, oh, oh, too good. Now we're on to dessert, my favorite time. So here we have a panna cotta with a chocolate on top, like a fudge chocolate. We have a real Italian tiramisu, which for those who aren't familiar, it's like a coffee flavored dessert. Espresso, I should say. There's no drip coffee in Italy. We then have an Italian espresso. And I can't quite pronounce the Italian name of it, but our half appetizer, half dessert, which apparently the name translates literally to cheese, pear, walnut, honey, which are literally the four ingredients in it and then a little bit of a balsamic uh, glaze around the edges. So we're gonna try this one. Again, this is almost like an appetizer and dessert, so. 
Whoa! Wow. I've never had anything like this either. So on the forefront, the first taste you ever you get is the pear. The pear, probably a little bit of that sweetness accented by the honey, but the first like second is pear, then it's cut by the cheese. It's a, it's a, it's not like a sweet cheese. It's like a kind of like a called like a you know a, a flavor of like a, mm, I don't want to say an older cheese, but like. It's sheep's cheese. I want to say like, uh, I don't know. Like one of those drier cheeses. Like you see in a big wheel. That kind of a thing. And it's like that. It's a sweet pear. Cut by a slightly sharp, deep, and drier cheese that just kind of disintegrates, melts in you, like disintegrates in your mouth. Then, the last flavor you get is the walnut, which is very good. Yep, never had anything like this before. But I really like it. Every time I get a bite with a more pear in it, I think of more of it as a dessert. Every time I get a bite in it with more cheese or a lot of cheese, and there's a very generous portion of cheese on this. I think we're more like an appetizer. So I very much understand. With the description of it being like half, well, uh, half dessert, half appetizer comes from. I like it. Very good. Less some of the cheese left because I'm more in a sweet mood, but. I really like that. This is a great pairing. I think it would be a really good uh, appetizer. Get ready to start everything off. Okay, panna cotta. With some chocolate fudge on top. Okay. Woo! Smells good. Chocolatey. Creamy. Mm. Oh boy. Woo! I really get that chocolate fudge flavor. Woo! Mm, 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 mm. Fudge definitely adding a lot of sweetness to it, to that delicate nature of that panna cotta. Yeah, that fudge adds a good bit of sweetness to that. Mm, mm. But they go so well together. Woo! Almost like a cake and ice cream, panna cotta and chocolate. Have a sip of this espresso. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Mm, perfect. Mm. Mm. I do appreciate a good espresso. And that is a good espresso. Now we're gonna try this tiramisu. Here we go, this is apparently very, well it is, it is a very authentic Italian uh, tiramisu. This is supposed to be very special. Tiramisu. Mm. Whoa, whoa. Okay, hold up, that deserves another bite. Mm. Okay, woo. Super creamy. Super creamy. It absorbs like the perfect amount of that coffee espresso. Very, 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 very light. Very light. Not overly sweet. Mm. Mm. That is, mm. 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 that is delicious. This deserves a lick in the plate. things I do in public. It looks like it sometimes from people walking by. 
But anyway, that was absolutely phenomenal. That was delectable. Tuscan Wolf, guys. If you're in Toronto area, if you're in Whitby, Durham, anywhere in Ontario, anywhere in Canada, anywhere in the world, authentic Italian food, authentic Italian pizzas, 10 out of 10, would recommend. The desserts are exceptional as well. I have no complaints. I hope you enjoyed this video half as much as I enjoyed my visit here today. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Like I said, come on by. If you come by, let them know I sent you. Hope you enjoyed this video. And with that, everybody, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Have a lovely day. Get yourself some great food. That's it. Have a lovely life. Much appreciate y'all. Until next time. I already said it. You know what to do.